Hello there, my name's Stephen from London Flat Roofing. We're day two on this job now. Yesterday, we went over the whole roof and we jet sprayed it off and got it nice and clean. Today, we're going around doing all the repairs. And what I'd like to do is show you around and just show you what we're actually doing. So, on this particular roof, we've got these bubbles. This is absolutely solid. This is in the asphalt underneath this roof. And someone's felt it over the top of it. So we're gonna to have to cut out this area and repair it. But generally, these are really tight joints. So on this particular system that we're using here, which is a liquid system, that's all the preparation we need to do. You'll see it's wet because we've just got rid of all the water off the top of it, and we're actually waiting for this to dry before we can start to do these repairs. Um, it's late in the year, so it's gonna take quite a while for this to dry. But we've got here early, and we've got lots of other preparation that we're gonna to have to go around and do. Okay, now, this is a, an interesting scenario here. What we've got is we've got the parapet wall which is absolutely solid because it's brick and we've got a timber deck here so because of the way the sun goes around on this side over here the heat gets on here expansion and contraction between the wood and the wall the wood changes differently than the wall so we get a lot of movement together with the heat we get a crack across there in the winter we had the same problem with expansion and contraction but this is brittle so it breaks so we get sagging and we also get cracking on the old asphalt roofs at this particular point. Now on this particular roof, because of these kind of details, we're gonna be filling this, and then our new flexible waterproof system comes up, over, and around the top. And because it's flexible, we're not worried about what happens underneath this once we've got it on. Now here, what we will be doing is backfilling around the back here and putting tape around this. We'll also be making sure that we can get up underneath this with our new system so that we get a nice weathered joint at that particular point. Yesterday I was telling you that we have problems where the asphalt joins the upstand of the parapet wall and that's all to do with movement, thermal movement between the timber and the asphalt down here and the solid brickwork. And as you can see here we've gone along and taped this particular joint. Yesterday we went along and we jet sprayed the whole roof right the way over. And not only have we today gone on and done this, but we've also gone along and we've siliconed in all the joints all the way around the edge so that we know that they're nice and sound, ready for us to apply our waterproof. As you can see, we've got these handrails and they're actually sitting on the roof. Uh, that is gonna cause us a problem, but we need to work around that. We only had a couple of different options. One of the options would have been to put scaffolding all the way around the outside of the building, but the cost of that was just too much. We couldn't hang the scaffolding off the edge because if we'd have hung it off the edge, it would have been more in our way and it was more difficult for the scaffolders to do so. They would have needed to have drilled holes into the side of the walls to make sure that it was really nice and sturdy. So we've opted to go for this and this is now obviously sitting on our roof. Now we can work over quite safely on this area here and we're able to get access to all the elevations of the roof, that's not a problem. But what's going to have to happen, once we've finished this roof and we've gone all the way around, the scaffolders are going to have to come in, take all this off and as they do, just where this sits on the ground, here, 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 here and so on, we'll make a repair. Now that's one of the advantages with a, uh, a liquid system. The liquid system can be joined together really easily and binds together really easily. If we were doing this with a, an EPDM or anything like that, we'd have real problems, you'd have patches everywhere and you really couldn't do it. My name's Stephen from London Flat Roofing. I hope you watch my next video.